This lesson is on algebraic fractions and we'll be looking at multiplying and dividing algebraic fractions. And this also gives you a list of your equipment that you'll need for this lesson and some of the keywords that we've already looked at and some other uh, key terms that we'll be going through uh, in this lesson. Now, when it comes to multiplying and dividing algebraic fractions, first part, we need to make sure we remember the rules for normal and uh, uh, multiplying and dividing fractions. Those still apply. So, for example, on this question here, uh, when we, if I was to multiply this, app, this fraction out, it'll be 4 times 15 and 5 times 16. So the normal rule is just multiply them across. But what we need to also do is try to cancel them down uh, diagonally, so okay, where possible, so that uh, it makes it easier, and so that we have we're not having to simplify it at the end. So we're simplifying it as we go along, and this will help us when we're doing the algebraic fractions. So here, I can, if you look carefully, okay, we look here diagonally here, four and the sixteen will cancel. They're both have a factor of 4, highest common factor of 4, so we can divide them both by 4, so then that will become a 1, and 4, 16 divided by 4 equals 4, and again 5 and 15, we can divide them both by 5, so then that becomes 1, and that's 3 there, so then what I'm left with is 1 times 3 for the numerator, and 1 times 4, and then what I, what I end up with is a simplified answer, at the end and again similar with the algebraic fractions and, and again I've just used the similar numbers the same numbers in this fraction so the 4 and the 16 will cancel uh, to give me 1 and 4 there 5 and the 15 will cancel uh, 1 and 3 there and again so I'm left with 1 times x times 3y and 1 times 4 on the numerator uh, denominator so then on the, so the numerator, I get 3xy, and the denominator is 4. So in this uh, uh, example, we've got 8x divided by y squared, and 3y divided by 20x squared. I can cancel this down diagonally, uh, first part with the 8 and the 20, so 8 divided by 20, uh, and the highest common factor between those two is 4. So divide them both by 4, so therefore that uh, will become 2. And then divide by 4 as well, that becomes uh, 5. Now, where it comes to the x and the x squared, what you need to remember is x squared means x times x. So there's two x's uh, in there, there's one there, so I can cancel one of the x's there and one of them there. So I've still got x remaining there. And the same uh, applies for the y's here. I can cancel one of the y's from there and one of them from here. So what I'm left with is 2 times 3 on the numerator. And the denominator has got 5xy. So what I would like you to do now is uh, pause the video and try this question for yourselves. Uh, once you've got the answer, play the video and then I'll talk you through the answer. So for this question, first part, we can cancel the 2 uh, with the 12 first. Uh, so that dividing them both by 2, uh, that gives me 6. And then again, the y's uh, will cancel. So that y will cancel with one of the y's there. So the other y remains there. And again, the x squared, one of the x's will cancel with this x here. So then I'm left with 3 uh, x on the numerator and 6y, the 3 and the uh, 6 will cancel, so that will give me uh, x divided by 2y. Now in this example, the first step that we're going to do is we need to factorize any part of uh, the fraction that we can. So for example, x plus 4, uh, that's already simplified, so we can't factorize that, but th uh, things like the 3x minus 9, and 5x plus 20. So when I write this out, I'll write x plus 4, and I'm going to put that in brackets, divided by x minus 3, again in brackets, times. So now I'm going to factorize the 3x minus 9. So again, uh, common factor of 3 on the outside, and x minus 3 in brackets. And again, a common factor of 5 
uh, 5x plus 20, so now I've got 5 on the outside, x plus 4. So now, once I've factorized it, now if I look, I've got a common brackets that I can cancel, so I can as, and make sure all the terms inside the brackets are exactly the same. So I can cancel the x plus 4 with that x plus 4, and then x minus 3 will cancel with that x minus 3. And what I'm left with is the 3 fifths. So that is equal to 3 over 5. So what I would like you to do now is uh, pause the video, try this question for yourselves, making sure that you are factorizing each part. And then once you've got to your answer, play the video, and then I'll go through the answer. So for this question, uh, first part, we're going to factorize each part of the fraction for any any of the expressions that are uh, that factorized. So for the first one, 2x minus 8 will give me uh, 2 bracket x minus 4, uh, factor of 2 there. And again, there's a factor of 2 in the 6x plus 4, 6, uh, so 2 bracket 3x plus 2, 12x plus 4, uh, again, factorized, 4 bracket 3x plus 1, and the x minus 1 term stays as it is. Uh, and I'll put brackets around that. So the next step, once I've got it factorized, is to cancel. So those common, uh, those two brackets are the same there. I can cancel those out. And that 2 will cancel with that 2. So then what I'm left with is uh, 4 bracket 3x plus 1. And the de denominator is 3x plus 2. Now make sure we, can, we cannot cancel those 3x's there because they're part of the bracket. So there, therefore that will stay as it is, that is the, the final answer. Now when it comes to dividing algebraic fractions, uh, we need to make sure again we follow the rules for dividing just normal fractions. So in this example, we've got 6x uh, divided by 5, divided by 15y over 20. So what we need to remember is the rule for dividing fractions is that we keep the first fraction the same, change the sign, and flip the second fraction over. So we've got your KCF, so then that means we get 6x over 5 times 20 over 15y. And now what we need to, uh, again, uh, now follow the, same, the, the normal rules for multiplying. Uh, fractions and simplify first. So here again, we can simplify uh, the 6 and the 15. They both divide by 3. So uh, I end up with 2 there and 5 there. And the 5 and the 20, again, they will uh, simplify. So I can divide them both by 5. So that'll be 1 and 4. So in my uh, Answer, I'll, I've got 2 times 4, uh, 2x times 4, that gives me 8x on the numerator, and then 1 times 5y, so that's 5y on the denominator. So what I would like you to do now is pause the video and try this question for yourselves. Once you've got your answer, play the video, and then I'll go through the answer. So for this question, uh, 3x, remember, uh, keep change flip. So for this question, we keep 3x uh, over 5 the same, change the sign, flip the fraction upside down, and then we can start cancelling down. So the 3 and the 9 will cancel, We're left with 1 and 3 there, and the two 5s will just cancel, both leaving 1 there. So then we're left with 1x times 1y, that's xy, and 1 times 3, uh, 3 on the denominator. Final answer, xy divided by 3. Now, in this example, we've got uh, x squared minus 4 uh, divided by 2x squared plus 2x and 3x uh, plus 6 divided by x squared uh, plus 3x plus 2. Uh, two fractions are being divided. So again, using our uh, keep, change, uh, flip rule. So I'm going to keep the first fraction the same, change the sign and flip the second fraction upside down. Now, uh, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to factorize this as we go along. So looking at each of the expressions uh, for each part of the fractions. So x squared minus 4. Well, if you notice, they are both uh, 
being squared. So again, we need to make sure that you remember this is a difference of two squares. So x uh, plus 2 and x minus 2. So x squared minus 4 is the same as x plus 2 and x minus 2. For the denominator, common factor in both of them is 2x. So 2x on the outside. And I end up with um, x plus 1. And then change the sign. So I'm going to multiply. And so now this x squared plus 3x plus 2 is now on the numerator. So and now if I look again, that's a uh, double bracket. I'm going to factorize this. So I need two numbers that multiply to give me 2 and add to give me 3 in the two brackets. So that's x plus 2 and x plus 1 is the double bracket. And the denominator is 3x plus 6. And then again, factorize that common factor of 3 on the outside, x plus 2. So now that we've got our factorized uh, algebraic fraction and then we're multiplying it, we can now cancel uh, any common parts down. So here, first part, we've got x plus 1 there and x plus 1, that'll cancel with that. And then in this x plus 2, well, I can either cancel it with this or this uh, either way. So if I cancel it with this one there, and now what's left? Well, I've got x plus 1 and x, uh, minus, x minus 2 and x plus 2, x minus 2 and x plus 2, all divided by 2x times 3. And that gives me 6x on the denominator. What I would like to do now is uh, pause the video, try this question for yourselves, okay? Um, remember, you need to make sure you try and factorize all of each of the expressions for each part of the fractions and using your keep change flip for your multiplication. Once you've got your answer, play the video and I'll go through the answer. So first part, factorize each part. 2x plus 6 gives me 2 bracket x plus 3. Common factor of 2 there. Uh, x squared plus 4x becomes x bracket x plus 4. Now here, the, keep, uh, the sign changes. And then the x squared minus 16 now becomes the numerator. So therefore, and again, that's uh, a difference of two squares. x plus 4x minus 4. And then x squared plus 4x plus 3 is a double bracket of x plus 3 and x plus 1. Remember, two numbers that multiply to give you the 3 and add to give you the 4. So 3 times 1 equals 3. 3 plus 1 equals the 4. And again, I can uh, cancel this down. So x plus 3 will cancel there. The x plus 4 will cancel there. So what I'm left with is 2 times x minus 4. And x times x plus 1. So that's your uh, answer. So what I would like you to do now is try two questions from each uh, line of questions. So I want you to try two uh, multiplication ones from the red and two division questions from the red. And again, so that'll be uh, again two from the amber for the multiplication, two from the division. So that's four from the red, four from the amber. And I, I want you to try uh, any two of these questions. So there's four questions there, any two of the green questions. Once you've got your answers uh, with your working out, make sure you upload your, a photo of your work onto class charts for you to have completed the work for this lesson.